JavaScript. Love it or hate it, it's the backbone of the modern internet. From web browsers to servers, desktop apps, and even command line tools, JavaScript has proven itself to be a versatile and flexible tool in any developer's arsenal. But being an interpreted language, JavaScript has some performance limitations, and depending on your use case, it may not be sufficient on its own. Now, if you're a Node developer, chances are high that you've had to deal with native Node modules at some point. Native modules are compiled binaries written in other lower level languages that help speed up the execution of certain tasks in your Node project. They're super powerful, they're super useful and they can be used to do things like hooking into the host machine's operating system, performing serious number crunching, or big data operations, and the list goes on and on. But this comes with its own challenges, not the least of which is portability. Native code must be compiled for whatever platform and operating system environment that Node itself is running on. So that's where we're going to be looking at utilizing WebAssembly in Node.js and how it can be an awesome tool to speed along development and streamline your Node project for your business. As we've touched on in previous videos, WebAssembly, or WASM for short, is a low-level compilation target for a wide variety of programming languages. Rust, C, C++, and AssemblyScript are common options. These languages are compiled into an intermediate binary state and then run inside a WASM virtual machine, thus being capable of running one binary across multiple systems and architectures. Typically, web browsers and tools like WASM Time provide the WASM environment to execute your WebAssembly binaries, but Node has its own offering here, the global WebAssembly object. Here we have a simple hello world written in AssemblyScript, and I've compiled it into a WASM binary. Depending on your workflow and the language you use, the process for doing this will vary, so I won't go too deeply into the weeds here. For now, we'll jump ahead to loading and executing our WASM binary in Node. On this first line, we require the FS module from Node so that we can read files off our file system. Next, we synchronously read our Hello World binary. Now, we asynchronously instantiate the binary we just read. Once our binary is loaded, we destructure the list of exported functions into the Hello World variable. Then, in JavaScript, we call the Hello World function and log the results to the console. As you can see, it's fairly simple to load and execute WASM binaries inside of a Node environment, though it's important to note some of its limitations. The biggest limitation is that WASM applications do not have access to the host system. That means that you can't make system calls, read from the file system, etc. If you want to do that, you'll need to utilize the WASM API provided by WASM Time or get creative with your JavaScript. This also means that writing your WebAssembly for Node will result in more or less straightforward and single purpose functions, improving debugging and portability. So let's say that you've profiled your application and you've found that there are two functions that are egregiously slow compared to the rest of your code base. Theoretically, you could reduce your overhead costs and serve your customers better by rewriting those functions in AssemblyScript, Rust, or C, compiling them to WebAssembly binaries and executing them inside of your Node project. Hopefully this has given you some insight into how Node can interface with WebAssembly, deliver better performance, and meet your enterprise needs at scale. But I'm curious, have you done this with your code in production? Share your experience in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Make sure you get subscribed to see more from us here at Akamai Developer, and we'll see you next time.